Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I thought I would give you a little review and let's fix that. We're off center, better. Um, a little video review on my Stitch in London retreat that I just got back from yesterday. So today is Friday. I have some coffee and I have some show and tell. So first I'll tell you a little bit there about the retreat. Here's Alex. It's called Stitch in London and Marie from Stitches and Diamonds um, set up this retreat in London at a hotel at Watford Junction. And it was a Friday morning, I think at 10 o'clock until Sunday at four o'clock retreat. I don't know how many people were there. I didn't get a good number, but 80 to 100, I think. Um, and it was a lovely hotel of a Holiday Inn. They had 24 hour coffee service, which that made me happy. Um, yeah, comfortable chairs. Um, it was a pretty loose uh, retreat. They did have like a trivia challenge with prizes and then a general raffle with prizes. And there was a smalls exchange. And then I brought some table mate gifts for my table mates. I think I have one here to show you put together. Um, so I made, I did show you this before, but I made these bags that stay stitch in London. And then for everybody at my table, I got a, a little um, hand lotion bar. Keeps your hands moisturized when working with fabric. And I had made two each got one of these stitch, oops, stitch in London, like thread drops. Everybody got a little bundle of charms on a bulb clip, a safety pin, and a loop. And I think that was everything that was in the bags that I gave out, so it was fun. Oh, and I put one of my business cards in there. And then I met um, Rose Clark Craft, Ros, Ros Clark Crafts. And she's a designer and she gave me one of those, which I think is wonderful. And this just has color symbol, it's a floss drop. So I got that. So I met lots of fun people. Um, we were given little badges for when we got there with our preferred name. And if we had a YouTube channel or what our Instagram was, which I loved that on a, on a doodad. So, um, yes. And then on Saturday and Sunday, there were some vendors set up. Uh, we, oh, I met so many people. I met so many people and it was just so exciting. Um, oh, and there was a freebies table. It's hard to, it's, I'm trying to sort some stuff here while I talk to you for a second. It's hard to describe and get the vibe. Oh, and we all got personal thank you note cards and something else, which I will show you in a minute. I'm just trying to sort everything that I have here. And I think I probably will forget half the stuff, but that's how it rolls. Okay, so we all got paperwork that just kind of tells us, you know, what is what. And it's kind of hard to give you the vibe of what it is until you experience it. So if you've ever wanted to do a retreat, just do it. It's fun. Everybody kind of sits at a table. If you go with somebody, obviously you can sit with them. But if you don't go with somebody, you just sit down and then you become fast friends. And it's wonderful. And we all had such a great time. I did uh, message Carrie and Caroline of Evertote and Leo and Roxy Flosco and told them I was going to and would they be my friends? And they said yes. So I met up with them on Thursday when I arrived. So my flight left on Wednesday evening. At, I left Ohio at 7.30 p.m. and I got to London at 10.30 p.m., 10.30 a.m. the following day. Um, there is a five hour time difference. So I was kind of slap happy when I got off the plane, but then I made my way to Paddington and met up with Carrie and Caroline and we had lunch and then we were exhausted. So we made our way to the hotel and got checked in and then everybody kind of rested. And then we went down in the evening and stitched and visited 
and we did that. Friday morning, same thing. We came down, I think, for 9 a.m. We had breakfast, we talked and visited, and then we went into the retreat room. And then we, at some point, grabbed lunch at different places and it was a nice little town. So we all walked together and everybody's included. So like, I walked by and I was like, hey, are you a stitcher? Come sit with us. And it was Lisa. And Lisa was like, yeah, I'm a stitcher. And she's from Germany. And so our table was very UN. We had Lisa from Germany. We had Susan from the United States, Lori from the United States, Carrie and Caroline from Canada. We had Kelly, who is an American, but who has been living in the United Kingdom for 20 years. And we had sweet Hannah and young Hannah lives in the UK as well, like outside of London. And so we were like the UN table. And sometimes it took German speaking Lisa to translate British English into American English. It's crazy. But we had fun. I mean, just we just had a good time. So that's kind of what we did every day at the retreat. And then they had like a giveaway table. And so people brought in freebies to share. And I took part. I'm just trying to find everything. I got this. I don't know if I'll do something with it or not. But it's like a bracelet. And then it has the holes and you can stitch in it. This is a um, faux leather cuff with poppers. I'm assuming are these and the floss and you just put your own design and it is was made in London yeah so I grabbed that just I think that'll be fun and then there was a country cottage needlework um, pattern forest raccoon and friends that somebody was giving away and I said um I need that oh can you see it I feel like I'm I feel like I'm blurry here. Let's see. There is a raccoon and a rabbit and an owl, and I love it. And I don't know when this was printed, but we'll see. Oh, and then some people brought like D stash and they sold their stuff. And I don't know where this was picked up. I don't really know anything about it other than it's Country Cottage Needlework. Oh, 2018. Um,. This is from 2018, so relatively new, really. And that was on the freebie table. So I picked up that. And then there was some hand-dyed fabric. No idea. I think it's 32 count if I had to guess, but I can definitely measure it. But it's a nice big piece of linen. It's a Zweigart. I don't know who the dyer is. I don't know who donated it, but I, grab that because that will do a nice big something or lots of little somethings so I was able to get a piece of fabric and a cute little pattern on the giveaway table which I thought was super exciting hi buddy hi I know I also am missing maybe not let's see I'm digging into my yeah, I am missing it. I don't know where I put it. It's somewhere. Who knows where. But there was a pair of scissors that I got. Maybe it's in one of my bags. We'll see in a minute. Okay. So, that was on the freebie table. And then we all got a goodie bag. And in the goodie bag, we were allowed to say um, what we would like to how we want to finish this project. So she gave us all the finishing supplies, like the little felt and the card, which was, ex I mean, just excessive and wonderful. The backing, there is some little border for it. And then all the floss that I will need on drops. Like how wonderful and how much work she put into this. And they're all numbered. 3326 DMC numbers. And then there was patterns. I can't, oh, and fabric. I did, I think, 36 or 32 count uh, linen. And so there's hand dyed linen here. And I know somewhere it tells me what all this stuff is. I just don't have the paper. I'm very unorganized, apparently. But this was in our goodie bag along with a handwritten note from Marie and her lovely husband was there. I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. Gunther, I think. 
very nice gentleman. So this kind of lays out what everything is. Oh, I do have the pattern, but I, oh, I'll show it to you. So this was by Roz Clark Craft, who gave me the little stitch minder. She designed this little pillow and it's so cute. And then, so that's one of the patterns that we received. And the other pattern, I cannot show you because this is the pattern, but it says Stitch in London 2022. There's pictures on it and stuff, but I don't have a picture of it finished. So I'll have to finish it and show it to you guys. So it comes with all of that. Um, uh, Um, it doesn't tell me what the fabric is, but the floss, it tells me. So we got those pat those two patterns and all the goodies to go with it. So there's that. Now I will show you what I was working on and some of the things I was given are in my bag. So I, this is a bag that I made and brought with me. And one of the projects I wanted to get some stitches in is Leela's Studio Nevermore. And I know the pattern is still available and Caroline and Carrie are doing a color conversion with Leo and Roxy floss. Because a lot of these flosses are not easy to find anymore. And so they're redoing it to make it so you can get it, which is exciting. All right, I'm trying to see if I can find Aha, I found what I was thought I lost. But here's some of the goodies I got whilst there. Uh, one lady, and I don't remember everybody's name, but passed out, she made some needle minders with the British flag. And I got one of those. And uh, Lisa at my table made a bunch for everybody at the retreat of these needle minders that definitely have a Jetsons vibe to this one. I love it. So she made those and we all got to pick which one we wanted. Um, what I was looking for is not in this bag, the other thing. But on this project, what I was able to get done is the words at the top. So I was able to get done midnight while I pondered weak and weary. I worked on this on Sunday and I got all these words done. So I just need once upon a, once upon a, and then down here, the word dreary. And then all the writing will be done on this. I mean, I'm nowhere near done. I still have a big motif over here and then some other things, but I thought this was pretty fantastic and I love the colors. On that, so I worked on this just on Sunday and I think we only stayed on Sunday until two o'clock because we needed to get, well, we started packing up around two or three. We had to get the train to our respective hotels. And as convenient and easy as the subway is, we had all our luggage, so we just needed to give ourselves plenty of time. And that was one of the things, like I, <laughs> my arm is so sore from carrying my luggage everywhere. So, excuse me. I went from the hotel in Watford, so I checked out on Sunday, and then we went to, I went, took the subway. So we all took the subway into Houston, not Houston, but E-U-S-T-O-N, stop. And then I went from there to Paddington and from Paddington, I walked to my hotel. And then um, I did the reverse coming home. There was an express train to Paddington. So I walked from my hotel yesterday morning at five, six in the morning to Paddington and took the express train to Heathrow and then flew home. And it was a solid day, a solid day of flying. Okay, so I think in here I got some fun stuff. I don't, maybe I don't, I do. Okay, so Susan is the blue crab stitcher and she made us all these um, at our table the floss bling, she gave it to us. So it was the ring and the jewel, and look at that, it's a blue crab. She's from Maryland, oh, come on. 
and it's a blue crab and I love it. I can't, I just love using it. Thank you, Susan. And Carrie got me, oh, I love these guys. We just had such a wonderful time. She made, first of all, look at the card. I love it. This is going to become a bookmark for my book. And she made some bling. Oh my God, look at this. With a yellow rose. I think that's a rose. Yep, a yellow rose and a button with some bees. Oh my God, I love it. I think she made this with a thing. And you put your floss on here. So every time I use these, I get to think of my table mates. And that was so, it just, it just is everything. I can't tell you. I can't explain it if you've not gone. So you just need to go. Um, and then I worked on this. We all know I'm trying to get this finished. So I was able to finish the border on this side. I put the whole border together and, and that was fun. And then I finished this half. So I was probably at the second window. I finished this whole house. So now I just need to put the thatched roof on and the house is done. And then I just have words. And this pattern, I don't want to get it wrong. Also through Caroline at Evertope. This is a uh, modern folk embroidery, Jacob. And it is, I am no bird. Bronte sampler. So the, the Jane Eyre book, I am no bird. And so I just need to finish the thatched roof with the two stacks and then there's four little medallions that won't take long and then the words and then this will be done so this is going to be my focal my focus piece until it's complete it, i need to get this done for reasons and those will become abundantly clear at some point but i need to finish it so this will go right back onto my stand so that i can work on it when i have a few moments of peace whenever that is. So those were the two projects I worked on um, at the retreat. I just brought two and two was all I needed. And I just think it was perfect. Oh, I love this. Um, yeah, I and it was, I didn't have any, um, yes, I did have some issues. I backed out a lot because I couldn't stop talking. Um, my pattern, everything is just a disarray at my house, okay? Then I wanted to buy some things to support the peoples that were there. And one of the peoples that were there is UK Needle Minders. I think it's called UK Needle Minders dot co dot UK. I'll have to put the links down below. But she had some boxes and they were $22 and they were mystery box, but you got a couple things. And one, I believe, yeah, because she even had these marked with her, the name of the business. It is UK Needle Minders. And I got a black stork pair of scissors, which are everything. I'll show you on how they operate. And they have a little rubber tip on them to protect it. I will eventually take that off. But these are stork scissors in black. It was a Halloween themed box. And then it came with Ouija, Ouija mints. And the, the little mints themselves were in the shape of the little dealy thingy that you use the Ouija board with. But they're just mints. I love it and I can't wait to use the tin. And then it came with, I mean, this was such a good deal, three needle minders. So I got this one that says arsenic poison do not drink. And they're plastic needle minders with the magnet. This says bad witch on it. And this is a little unicorn pumpkin. And I think I'll give that to my coworker. So I got these three needle minders and this all was 22 pounds. And then I got a piece of um, fabric. This is linen, even we or linen, 28 count. The color is, I don't know what the color is. Oh, dark blue. I don't think it has a name. She didn't put a name of the color. Hi, Alex. It looks like denim to me. 
So I grabbed a piece of that. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know what's going to go on it, but this is a 18 by 27. And I believe that other piece of linen I have is 18 by 27 as well. But look at that dark blue, something, something fantastic is going to go on here. And her prices were very reasonable for me coming from the U S I need to put this together. Um, the dollar was pretty equal to the British pound right now. So it was just slightly more like pennies more for me. So this was about, I would say $23. I haven't looked at my credit card receipts yet, but it was like, it would cost me a dollar 12 or a dollar 13 for every one British pound. So it was, it was a very similar uh, conversion. So I got a piece of fabric from the same company. The, um, well, this is coffee craft fabric. So maybe this is also coffee craft. I'll have to find out. I'll put it in the link below. Um, and then Susan is the blue crab stitcher. She's the one that made us those cute little needle minders. And then we had some selling going on by cotton and clay. And look at that needle minder. It's, oh, let me take it out. It's a ghost. There was a lot of Halloween themed and Christmas just because of the time of year, which is right up my alley. There we go. It's a ghost and she makes these out of clay which are fantastic. So this will go with my Halloween stuff, but isn't that adorable? It's just a little white ghost. And um, Etsy is Cotton and Clay UK. And they do, they did tell me that they can ship to the US if you're one of my US friends watching this. So I picked up that, it was seven British pounds. And then I purchased, hold on, I gotta figure out what I did here. Okay, so I purchased from Cosford and Rise Stitchery. And Cosford and Rise Stitchery is Kelly, who was at my table. And she created these. She designed all of this. And you can go onto her Etsy shop, which also will be listed below. And um, these are all come in PDF. But this was the Halloween pack. Look at that black cat. And it's her British take on things. So she's the um, from the U.S., from our Arkansas, I believe, but lives in the U.K. and has for 20 years. And a lot of her designs are like a British theme design, which I love. So she has lots of patterns because I'll show you one more in a second. Um, as a table mate gift, she gifted me this one. Um, this one is called... Uh, lead us not into temptation. I love it. And um, I'm going to change the cat to a black cat. And then Hannah sold, she had, um, she was selling some of her stuff that she had already stitched. And this is the Prairie Schooler Hocus Pocus. And you can do them as individuals or as one piece. So it could be one large piece or individual little pillows or like, and then it comes with some bonus little tarot card type things. But I loved it and she was selling it. And so I said, well, I'll buy that for 10 pounds, which I think is a good, a good price for that. So those are the patterns that I purchased from those folks. And there was one more person that I per I went to loop. I'll show you in a second. One more thing that I picked up at the retreat and it was from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And it's this little penguin and it comes in a complete kit. And I'll show you where I'm at. I also bought the matching needle minder. She said that she also ships to the US for like three pounds. So nothing terrible. And right now the dollar is so strong or the British pound is so not strong that you can go on and get these kits. But that's the needle minder I got that matches and look at this. And I would say her designs are very similar to like a tiny modernist type designs. So this is where I got on Tuesday night, four of us met up 
that were staying in London and had a stitchy night at Caroline and Carrie's apartment they were renting. And so I got this done while we were sitting around chatting. And this has the needle. Now these kits, if you are new to cross stitch, the beautiful thing about these Caterpillar cross stitch kits is they come with, not the needle minder, but they come with the pattern. They come with the fabric, the needle, and the floss. So everything you would need to stitch this is included in the kit. And the kit, I think, was 10 or 12? 12 maybe. Oh, again, I'll link that down below. I don't quite remember. 13 pounds maybe. And it's a Zweigart fabric, DMC cotton, a DMC chart. There's thread and full instructions and a needle. Now this is 14 count Ada. Um, typically I was gonna wait, or ideally I wanted to wait till I got home to start it, but, and do it on some smaller fabric, like a bigger count, maybe an 18. But at Carrie and Caroline's, I didn't have to bring my magnifier and my light to stitch on 14 count Ada. So this ended up working out perfect. So I did that. And then I went to Loop London. If you're a knitter, you know about Loop. But I wanted to check it out, needless to say. And they had some floss. And I don't really need yarn. I have so much yarn I'm trying to use that before I go buying more. But they had some Overa Suave, which is French um, floss. So these are all silk, lint, silk floss. Uh, these are, I think, are seven strands. And this is the whites, blacks, and neutral. So it's white, cream, black, gray. And they call this the six shades of black and white. And you get five meters, seven strands on each one of these and it's silk. So it's different than DMC, which is cotton. This is silk and I have yet to try silk, so I really wanted to. And then the other pack I got is the Overa Soie again with this one, but it also comes with the different spools and it's all in blue. So that is glittery. This one here, they're just a little different um, I have to kind of read up on them, but the one is seven strand silk. Uh, the Swa Pere is a three ply silk filament, which is the sparkly one. The Maltese Tresse is soft and resistant braid for all needlework over 80 shades. And there is, um, that, that's one of these. And the other one is a two ply high twist filament silk made of raw silk available in more than 80 colors. So it's like, Overa Soie sample pack. And I believe these were $18 a piece, which is not terrible for silk. And I've been dying to try it. So I'm gonna try to find a project that I can play with all these different things and get like a crash course. So this is the same as that. It's the same Overa Soie. Um, I just don't know how to use all of these different silks and in what capacity. So I thought, let's get a sample pack and use it. So I got that at Loop London. They were, like I said, $8 a piece. Hi, Alex. Can you get down, bubs? Can you not? He, they miss me. And then the last thing, I brought this with me and I did some knitting because I can't really cross stitch on an airplane. I would die if I dropped my needle. So what I ended up doing really is I finished this tiny little sock. I'm working on little Christmas presents for my brother's cats. So I will stuff this sock full of catnip and sew it up. And then I made them this little tiny that chaser that I, I've already sewed this in. So I will stuff this with catnip and sew it up. And it's just a small little toy. And then this is more like a kick stick. And what I will do is I'm leaving the string at the end and it goes down to a point like a pencil and I will fill this up with tons of catnip for them. And it's a kick stick for cats and then I will sew it shut and they will like bang on it and kick it and chew it and it has a little string they can play with so I thought that would be fun so I finished these half of this was done I finished these two things like on the train basically and at the airport waiting for flights and stuff like that they were they're small little projects it didn't take really any time at all 
And so that was everything. I don't know if I showed you the September Floss Club. I think I did. Um, this is also from Leon Roxy Floss Co. Oh, she does wonderful gold and yellows. So I brought these with me. I don't know why. I think I just threw them in my bag in case I needed a color. So that is it. That is everything. Oh, I lied. Then I went to a store called Liberty. And if you see the what I bought in London video that'll be coming out, this will all be in that. But I went to Liberty in London. And that is a very posh, high-end department store. But they have fabric and Christmas. They have a Christmas level. They have fabric, a whole fabric floor with haberdasheries. So what I bought is a half a meter of this Liberty fabric. It's their cotton and look at the birds. I love it. And it was pre-cut and this was 13 pounds, 95 pence. So I grabbed that. And then they had a selection of buttons and this one has um, a crest on it. You're not gonna be able to see it, but it's a crest of some sort or another. And I got it to go on the, whatever I make out of this. As like a, just a little design element. And then they had these British flag buttons. So I grabbed two of those to put on something, make a needle minder, I don't know. But I grabbed two of those buttons and they were $2 a piece, two pounds. Um, they had this for five pounds and it is a turner. So when I make my bags, I can poke my corners, but you can also use it as like a brandishing tool if you're making creases or whatever. And this is just a, and it was six pounds. Um, yeah, so it's a turner, it's bamboo. So I grabbed that. This is from Merchant and Mills of England these are darning needles that I use, but I can also put any needles in here that I want. And it's just a little wooden tube that holds a bunch of needles and it came with a bunch. And I use darning needles mostly in uh, knitting to knit your ends in, but it's fantastic. It's just a little wooden thing. And I think this was 7.95 or seven, seven pounds, 50 pence. If you ever get a chance to get to London, oh, this store is fabulous. Um, it's it's a lot, though. Like, it's expensive. They had, you know, if you're from the U.S. and you've been to Target lately, you've seen the Little House on the Prairie dresses that they seem to want to sell. Well, apparently that's a global trend because Lon uh, Liberty London had them as well, but they were like multiple hundred dollars for an an ugly dress let's just call it what it is i'm trying to take the label off here you know how i am with labels okay i can stop picking at it until i show you and then the one fun thing that i got that i really wanted i mean i wanted it all but this is one of the things i knew that they had because rai rai mcguy and if you don't watch rai rai you need to he has a floss tube so does ellen read of the crash test dummies she has one called maximum cross stitch power hour and she's starting to design patterns so if you would like a free pattern go on the Evertote site and ellen has a free pattern on there right now so i got these in gold and these are just again another pair of small scissors and they are wonderful and they're just they cut good i think let's see we just cut a little piece of paper I mean, they're fabulous. And these are great little scissors for all of your hand sewing, hand work, and they kind of stitchy. It doesn't have to be cross stitch. And they have the M because these are a merchant and mills. And they had several ones. They had a pair of black that I really liked, but I already got a pair of black scissors. So yeah, that was it. So now that is everything I purchased and everything I did while at the retreat. Um, I just tell you, if you have a chance to go, go. If they're so much fun and you will just make a million